Hey everyone, happy Monday. So I'm getting on here again to do my Monday market update for Kitsap County. I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, my husband and I took our boat to, over to Lake Cushman yesterday. It was absolutely wonderful. It was such a beautiful day on the lake. Um, we were spoiled, it was awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys again a breakdown on the activity that we've seen the last week throughout the selected cities in the Kitsap County area. And I'm going to discuss just kind of the market trends. Um, you guys are still, again, I'm telling you a broken record every week come in here, but it's still a very hot market here in Kitsap County. The inventory numbers are still extremely tight. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to go ahead and start with Port Orchard. So in the last week, you guys, we had 27 active listings um, that's, I'm sorry, that have sold, I should say active, but have sold, which is up from the 23 um, sold homes the week prior. Uh, pending, we had um, 11 listings that went under contract, and active new listings, we have had 21 new active listings in Port Orchard, which is actually down from 30 the previous week. Um, you can kind of see a trend here. So um, let's talk about Bremerton. Bremerton, we had 11 listings that sold last week, which is down from 20 the previous week. Pending, we had uh, three listings that went under contract, which is down from eight the previous week. And active, we had 19 new listings come on in the Bremerton area in the last week, which is down from 28 the previous week. Now, Silverdale, <clears throat> we had eight uh, listings that sold, which is up from three the previous week, so a little bit of an uptick on the sold list, uh, listings in Silverdale. Pending, we had two uh, last week, which is up from only one, the one and only, <laughs> the previous week. Now, active, we had four um, new active listings come on in Silverdale last week, which is down from seven the previous week. Paul's Bow, let's talk about Paul's Bow. Last week we had seven listings that sold, which is up from five the week before. Pending, we had six that went under contract, which is up from five the week before. Now active, we had 11 new uh, listings come on in Paul's Bow, which is down from 17 the week prior. So in the last week, all across the board here, we have seen a decrease in active new listings coming on for those areas that we just discussed. Let's talk about the total active listings for Kitsap County. We're sitting at 621 active listings, listings versus, again, residential single-family detached homes, which is down from 638 the week before. And the average days on market for Kitsap um, County is 32 days, which is down 5.9% year over year. So I need to kind of correct myself for my previous market updates because I had stated uh, that it was 12 days as the average but that is the median number of days on the market, so I stand corrected on that. So the average days on market is 32 days. So let's talk about the interest rate, you guys. It's still a great time to buy. The average interest rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage rate climbed a little this week to 3.81%, up from 3.75%, which is where it had been hovering for the last few weeks. But you guys, even at the 3.81%, it's still quite a bit lower than the 4.5% that we were at the same time last year. So again, guys, interest rates are still low. Um, so if you're sitting on the fence, you want to get off the fence and buy. Um, so as, as the inventory, let's talk about the market trends. As the inventory numbers go, we're still seeing a lot of multiple offer, offers on the lower price homes. Um, which means that if you are a buyer, it's imperative that your um, offer on your purchase and sale agreement that it is competitive and that it stands out in front of the competition. And I'm just going to say this again. I'm I'm all about being frank and honest. Um, you cannot ask for closing costs in this market, you guys. In order to be competitive with sellers getting multiple offers, they're going to have other offers coming in that people, other buyers are able to cover their closing costs. So it is really important. Um, in order to you know to compete, you don't ask for closing costs because if you do, you're going to get beat out every single time. I'm just going to be straight. Um, it's a seller, you know, very strong seller market. Um, you're guaranteed to be, you know, in the lower price range, especially you're going to be competing against other buyers. And, um, you know, the sellers are just simply, simply calling the shots here. So you want to make sure you're working with a competent agent that can make sure that your purchase and sale agreement is drafted in a way that it is, you know, it stands out in front of the competition. And one of those ways, of course, is making sure that you are able to cover your own closing costs and that um, you have earnest money. And if you don't know what that is, you definitely want to, you know, get with your agent and they can, you know, definitely share with you, you know, really kind of the steps that are involved in purchasing a home, especially if you're a first time home buyer. Um, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. And um, that's always why I share my ultimate home buyer's guide um, in the comments below my videos because it, again, it really walks you through, you know, step by step 
the home buying process. You know, earnest money, closing costs, you know, home appraisals, um, home inspections, you know, who pays for them, negotiating, etc. So um, I hope this gives you some insight on our current real estate market where we're at here locally in Kitsap County. Um, if you have any questions or if you're thinking about buying or selling, here, reach out to me anytime. I'm definitely more than happy to help. And this is my money market update for the Kitsap County area. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great week. Make it a great home buying and selling day. See you guys. See you guys next week.